Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe, and I'm looking here at Jedi Survivor, and we are going to look at the functionality of Smart TDP with the frame limit. So to start, I have my AAA game profile selected, and I have the TDP limit set to Smart, and I have the FPS, un FPS limit set to Unlimited. So we are going to look at what the power draw is specific to the APU here. So let's just start out and minimize the side overlay. So right now we are getting mid 30s, upper 30s. I did see some 40s. I do have V-Sync off and we're running this at 800p. So just to review, Go to our visuals here, 1280 by 800. We're running this all on low. It is worth noting that the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 is set to quality. In the so we're walking around here and right now it looks like we are drawing 21 watts and CPU is working at low to mid and upper Low to mid, 40%, upper 30% as well. And we will see if we can find some combat. So right now we have found some combat. So let's see what's happening. We're at 23 watts still. So we are at 22 watts right now. We're staying between 22 and 24 watts based on the short amount of time that we have been spending with the game. Here's a meditation point. So even with unlimited, we are still staying within the 30s for the most part, and that's looking to be a baseline right now. So we did hit 25 watt, just walking around. And I will mention that the power mode is at the highest capacity, so it is on high. So let's see if we can find one more combat area. Just see if our TDP changes any on the APU that's being drawn. So we hit 26. So we're understanding now that we're staying between 22 or 23 and 26 for some combat. And our frame rates did drop into the upper 20s. In this area here, we are seeing our frame rates climb to the 40s, and I did see a point where frame rates did hit the 50s. And we've been staying at 25 watt. Actually, we just hit 27 watt right there. 
All right, so now what I would like to do is change our S FPS limit to 60 and see if our TDP changes any, which is anticipated, at least in theory. But I won't be surprised if we stay between 20 and 25, specifically around 22. So let's see what happens. So right now we are staying at 25. We have upper 20s and 30s on the frame rate. So we're at 23 watts right now. Around 41, 50 percent down to 39 CPU usage. So it is varying. Still at 24 watts. It may be interesting to some that even with the unlimited frame rate specification that Smart DDP did not push the device higher than 25 watts as the software, at least with AS Space 1, could push up to 33 watts on the APU and that could be manually set. But uh, we did not see higher than 27 watts, and that was just at one point. That wasn't a long time, as our, our baseline is looking to be in the 20s with wattage, at least on this targeted 60. However, right now we drop down to 18, 19 watts, but we are just walking around, so no, no combat here. All right, we are approaching a combat zone here, so let's see what happens. We're at 20, 21 right now. Still staying around 22 watt. All right, let's enter into some combat here. We're staying at 25 watt, 24 watt right now. So 23, 24 watt right at the end of that. Good job. All right, so now let's change our targeted frame rate to, Better. let's go down to 50. And 
let's see if going to 50 takes down our wattage on the APU or if it stays around the same. We're still at 24, 25 watt right now. Staying at 22, 23 watt right now. Went up to 24 watts still. Here we go. So with the decrease targeted frame rate, we're not seeing much difference in the wattage. We're still staying around the same, which can argue the point that even if we were manually setting this, that more than 25 watt, I mean, even keeping the game mode or the mode being played with the game at 22 watt is more than sufficient. So let's now drop our FPS target limit to 40. And see what happens with our TDP. So we're still staying in the range with 22, 23 on the wattage for the APU. So the 24 watt. So as we have dropped the frame rate down, we have not seen a drastic change with the wattage. And in an attempt to save battery life, we're staying around the same. So using smart TDP 
can perhaps be what we want to do or if we want to manually set it for lower. Though throughout this process, we've been getting the same amount of frames despite what we set our target frame rate to. As a baseline on average, that is. All right, so now what I would like to do is drop down our FPS limit. Let's go to 30. That will be our near our conclusion here for this video. What do you think this array is, buddy? So, so our TDP right now is at 20 watts. Still 20, 22 watt. So looking at the TDP usage, compared to the other frame rate targets, we are staying in the same range. Our frame rate is still targeting 30 as we have set. And we are still staying around 22 watt, really at 22 watt here. So in conclusion for this video, we understand that with the smart TDP limit setting, no matter what we set our FPS limit to, for this game specifically, our TDP is going to stay around the same. And my explanation for that is that the APU can only push so many frames for this game despite what our FPS limit is set to. So even though there may have been effort from the APU based on the software to push 60, it's not always the case. We have seen, despite some climbs, 
that the FPS is going to hit 60. Our baseline was really between 30 and 40, no matter what we set the FPS limit to. So in this case, we can play this game at 22 watt if we wanted to set that manually, perhaps 25 watt, but 22 watt is a, a good spot for this based on the test that we have done. And that is our video today. Thank you for watching. So I will leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.